Good morning. China is the world's leader in solar panel production and installation. In 2024, China installed more solar capacity than the rest of the world combined. And in the first half of 2025, Chinese firms installed over twice as much solar capacity than the rest of the world combined. China is also the world's leader in farmed fish. And here again in this industry, Chinese fish farms are easily more than the rest of the world combined. So much so that Chinese aquaculture is blowing up markets in Europe, even for species of fish that are threatened and heavily regulated to limit the fishing there. So Chinese companies don't have a lot to learn from anyone else about solar or fish farming. And it was only a matter of time before the guys doing the first thing bumped into the people doing the second thing and started asking a bunch of what ifs. Fast forwarding a bit and Chinese engineers are combining solar farms with fish farms and are now dramatically improving yields of both. These are bifacial solar panels with solar cells on both sides of the panel and they put 370,000 of them on a fish farm. This is the announcement from the company Dajin Offshore for the new hybrid fish solar farm in Tangshan in Hebei. That highlighted blurb says that the operators estimate that the annual production of fish and shellfish is 2.2 million gene. A gene is half a kilo about 1.1 pounds, so over a million kilograms, two million pounds of fish, shrimp, and crab. The solar panels are installed over large areas for the fish and capture sunlight on both sides of the panel. The sunlight reflects off the water and is collected on the reverse side. The solar farm generates 400 million kilowatt hours electricity per year which is enough to power about 40,000 American homes. The solar farm is also more efficient than land-based farms, up to 15% more efficient, because water is a cooler surface. The system is also beneficial for the fish operations, because the solar panels cool the water from the top down. Fish metabolism is improved, disease is reduced, and there is a reduction in evaporation. Three years ago, a 70 megawatt farm went into Tangzhou, and the concept was proven then. This project in Tangshan is the most recent and the largest so far in Hebei province. Now the idea is going global, and engineers in Norway are successfully doing the same thing there, almost. Many fish farms there are powered with diesel generators, and the concept was to have power from solar generation displace the need for diesel. The facility is in Bafjord Standa and is the world's northernmost. The solar panels on this farm in Norway are not bifacial like they are in Hebei. These are just floating on the surface of the water, so they're only generating power from one direction. But the system worked more successfully than engineers hoped. Diesel fuel demand dropped by 90% and power from the solar is almost enough to power the entire farm. It is almost entirely self-sufficient and that makes the whole idea very compelling for other aquaculture projects that are distant from grid power. What's more, the success of the project in Norway was surprising because of where Norway is. Here is the climate data for Stranda. On average, each year they see one day above 25 degrees and 159 days below zero. In the winter months, the sun shines under three hours a day. So if you like very cold weather and darkness and fish, this might be the place for you. Anyway, the engineers there found that even in the wintertime, in low light conditions, the solar system provided sufficient power. So the company has announced that they're building another one. Chinese aquaculture and Chinese solar are first in class. And just because people here 
lumped them together and it worked out really well in China, it does not mean at all it will work anywhere else. But we might be able to say that if that thing works even in Norway, even in winter, it probably will work everywhere else. This is Zhejiang, the Chandu scenic area. Be good. See your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Pray for those. 